All right, welcome to this other tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to be going over the shape tool. I have these laid out so that we can see what kind of shapes we're going to be making. So just open up a new document and follow along on how to make shapes. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to the shape tool, which is a rectangle. If you hold that, you get a bunch of different options for different ones that we're going to be using. So as you can see, we're going to be using rectangle, the rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, and star tool. So let's start out with the easiest one, the rectangle tool. So with the rectangle tool, you see this little cross that you have on your screen. And what you do is you just click and you drag, and then you make a simple rectangle. Pretty simple. So what happens if you want to make a square? Well, you can either just drag it and kind of hope that it becomes a square, but there's a way to make sure that it stays a square. If you hold down shift, it will always stay proportionally as a square. And so that way you know that you always have a square. All right, um, let's go down to the next one, the rounded rectangle tool. And as you can probably guess, you simply just click it and you drag. And you notice that some of these uh, rounded parts are a little bit different. So before you let go, hit the up key or the down key to give it a different shape. Right now I'm hitting the down key and you can see that the rounded part of the rectangle is becoming less and less rounded. If you hit up, it becomes more rounded. So we can kind of match about what the shape above it is and let go. And just do that again if you hit if you hit down or sorry, if you hit up, it will make the rectangle more round. All right? Pretty simple. All right, next tool we're going to look at is the ellipse tool. Same as the rectangle, you just click and you drag it, and it becomes an oval. Next, if we want to make a circle, we do the same thing as with the square. You click and drag, and before you let go, hold shift, and you can keep dragging it to make the circle whatever size that you want. All right, next tool is going to be the polygon tool, so just go ahead and open that up in your toolbox. and. Like before, you click and you drag. And the thing that's different about this is that you're actually pulling from the center. All right. Another quick tip is if you want your polygon to be, I guess, level, is you simply just hold shift and it will make it so that it will be level no matter where your cursor is. If you let go of shift, you can turn it. If you hold shift, it'll be level. All right. Pretty easy. And so next we're going to make one with multiple angles. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either click and you can say that you want 10 sides, for example, and hit OK. And it'll show up right there. Or I'm going to Control Z or, or sorry, Command Z. I'm on a Mac. Another way that you can do that is click and drag it. And you can use the arrow keys again. And it will add edges. And you can go all the way down to 3 because a triangle is still a polygon, but a line is not, right? So there we got a square again. And just hit up until you have as many sides as you want. You can hold shift and you can let go. All right, the next tool we're going to be using is the star tool. So when with the star tool, you simply can hold it and drag it. If you hold shift, it'll stay level. Get it to where you want, and there you go. Now, if you want to make a multiple star tool with a different radius on the inside, you see how you'd be able to draw a circle with all these points on the inside. Same with this uh, bigger star on that side. That's called the radius. And if you want to change that, you can simply click, and you can say how many points you want. Say you want 10 points. You can change the radius to be, I don't know, 0.4, and you can click OK. And so that'll change the radius on the outside. I don't like this option because it's you can't see what it looks like before you do it. So instead of that, you can come and hold it. And you can hit the up and down keys to give it more stars or more points to the star. All right. As well as you can hold Command or Control on a Windows. If you hold that and just move your mouse, it will change that radius on the, well, the radius will stay the same on the inside, but the points will go out further. So if you want a really pointy star, 
you hold command and you pull it out. If you want to really, I guess, more a less pointy start, you can hold it in like this. Notice if you let go of command, it will retain its shape and you can still move it. All right. And so that's basically it with the with the shape tool. Uh, it's pretty simple and hope you found this tutorial helpful.